Welcome to another tutorial about BoogieBot. This time version 1.2 we have some new cool stuff like as you can see the zooming is pretty much zoomed out and you can do this in the conf tab. We have a slider here and you can play with this. This is for grinding. You should put something like trendy and top down because if you go like this you would attack enemies that are back there. You don't want this so do top down. Let's start with the first tab. He will cycle through this. This is the waypoint cycle and you don't have to fill this up because if he's at the last item he will start with the first one. So do something like a loop if you're setting up your waypoints and you will have to put a save point. This is where he will go when he's hurt and if he's recovered then he will resume the grind action. In the fighting tab this is the same. He will cycle through this and you can add buttons or delete buttons with the delete button add with here plus and then he will add it this would be sit here, pretty useless put something else if you're fighting in the survival tab I am no healer class so this is emptied out you can put heal skills in there, he will use this uh, poke actions, this is a sprite in English doesn't matter uh, you can define if he should collect or train what the ratio should be. That means that he will collect one time, then train one time. Of course not if his, it's not checked in, so check something, then he will use this ratio. And he will cycle through this, so you don't have to put values too high or something. Just leave it as this. And if he can't train, then he will skip, because maybe you don't have the mats for it, and it shouldn't bug. The stamina item, yeah, of course, if you want to use it or not, you can leave this as it is. The, for the shortcuts, you can go to the website and see what the shortcuts for the keyboard is, because this will differ in some languages. The last two buttons are always different, so it's bound to, I believe it's, it was T and E. You can see this at the website. And yeah, the pods, you have a good pod and a bad pod. The good pod is with the fast cooldown. It's always uh, an icon with a orange symbol color in the background. So you should see it if you look closely. The chat watch, like before, you can delete the lines that are not for your language or you can add the lines with your language. It's just this one word like whisper, whatever it is for your language you can write this down here like exactly the same line, just this one word different, then he will react on the word bot and he will answer with this stuff. You of course should put some other answers. Um, you can say if you want to give random answers, so random answers out of this, or you go with the cycle then you will cycle through this. You should of course leave random. We can answer in the same channel, in the whisper channel or sage channel. You can put this to whisper if you want. And answer delay is how long to wait before the answer should come because a instant answer would be very bot-like. And the silent time is how long to wait before giving a new answer to the same person. So if he spams you, one person, then you don't want to answer everything. You will wait 40 seconds and then react on the next question or whatever he says with the word bot in it. In the conf tab, like before we have some new configuration and the playstyle modifier is increased this time because if you're experiencing that your character is moving to the save point then you should increase that value because it means you are taking enemies that are too high for your level or the bot at least believes that it's too high and he will put you to the save point. And if you see this and you want to attack the enemies anyway, you can increase it. For safety reasons I would put it to 10 and then slowly increase it. But I guess 15 is okay too. You have the choice to do so, uh, zone revivals or don't revive at all. Use GBs. This is um, the resurrection stone and the shortcut for it you put here. Then you can say how often to revive 
in the game because it can happen that your weapon gets destroyed and then the bot will just lose XP because he dies and dies and yeah you can put a max here like 3 check this and then he won't revive again if he's dead 3 times shouldn't touch the key press timer the report you can try this uh, it will record how much XP you have gained or how much money you have earned and the help tab this time I have put it in here that I am the programmer because I don't want other people to say that they are the programmers of the bot of course and if you have, have trouble with the bot you can create a log and send me this and you can see what the bot knows about you and you have the new line zoom in here where you can see how far you are zoomed in and out okay this should be everything okay saving uh, saving is new you can define your own config names like for different zones you have another name I'm in Siva so I put maybe this I can save it and at a later time and I can load this config and have it again this should be everything thank you for watching and have fun with the bot bye bye